We've looked at the three types of valleys, woven, closed, and open. Now, let's look at the two types of flashing, step flashing and L flashing. When the roof planes butt against vertical walls or chimneys, metal flashing must be placed over the end of each course. This procedure is called step flashing. In this situation, step flashing performs better than solid continuous flashing because it ensures a waterproof seal at these critical areas. The use of continuous flashing or L flashing at these areas is not recommended because this flashing is dependent on sealants for water tightness. Overall, step flashing is the most proven way to flash these areas. The metal flashing strips used for step flashing are rectangular, typically 10 inches wide and 2 inches longer than the non-exposed area of the roof shingle. For typical 5-inch shingle exposure, use a 10-inch by 7-inch piece of flashing. GAF Elk has several shingles that are much wider than standard shingles. These shingles measure 17 inches wide by 40 inches long. The non-exposed area on these shingles is typically 9.5 inches wide. To completely cover these shingles with step flashing, use 10.5 inch wide flashing, or simply install two pieces of a normal step flashing to fully cover this area. Another question is whether to use new step flashing or to reuse the old step flashing. Many times, it can be very difficult to install new metal step flashing on a home where there is painted siding or masonry siding in place. GAF Elk recommends to only reuse existing step flashing if it is in like-new condition. Like-new means it is not buckled, rusted, bent, cracked, or broken. In all cases, it is best, if possible, to install new step flashing. Installing step flashing at sidewalls is required on Golden Pledge installations. If reusing old step flashing, it must be in like-new condition. Bend the 10-inch length so that it extends 5 inches over the roof deck and 5 inches up the wall surface. Place the first step flashing over the end of the starter course shingle and position it so that the tab of the end shingle in the first course covers it completely. It will help if you keep in mind that all components of the roof system are assembled so that the water will be shed down the slope of the roof. Secure the step flashing to the roof with two nails. Don't nail through the flashing to the wall because the flashing needs to be able to move with any deck and building movement. Fastening it to both may cause it to tear if the building moves or settles. Next, apply the first course of shingles up to the wall and position the second flashing strip over the shingle. The non-exposed area of the shingle in the second course should be completely covered. Nail the step flashing to the roof. The second course of shingles follows. The end is flashed as in the preceding course. Continue this process to the top of the roofing area. On a vertical sidewall, the siding may serve as counter flashing over the step flashing or a separate counter flashing may be used. You've seen how step flashing is used. Another problem location on the roof is where the roof meets a vertical wall. This is where L flashing is used. Now, let's look at a recommended way to apply a finished course of shingles on the roof where it meets a vertical sidewall. Shingle up to the wall. Lay a bead of plastic cement at the top portion of the shingle. Place the L flashing over the shingles and under the siding. Remember that everything is designed to shed water from the counter flashing of the siding to the shingles under the L flashing. When the shingles are run all the way up to the wall, nail the flashing into the deck, but not into the vertical wall. You can seal the nails here or run a course of shingles over the metal and embed them in a bed of asphalt cement. When applying shingles around all vent stacks, here are some important steps to consider. Apply a piece of weather watch or storm guard approximately two times the size of the flange onto the deck protectors under the shingles. Seal to the pipe's sides. Installing weather watch or storm guard around pipe flashing is required on all Golden Pledge and Systems Plus Limited warranty installations. Trim the shingle to fit and check shingle alignment. Apply asphalt cement under shingles around the vent stacks. Set the shingles into the cement. I always replace all flashing, 
In my opinion, trying to save a few bucks by reusing flashing is just not worth it. Another key component of the weather stopper roof system is the hip and ridge cap shingle. Nothing dresses up a roofing job more than a neat hip and ridge installation. It is the crowning touch of the roofing job. But hip and ridge shingles are more than just a good looking finishing touch. You know, this roofing business can be really crazy. Every day I see roofers who sell a property owner a 30, 40, or 50 year shingle and then they finish the job by using a 20 year regular shingle for the hip and ridge cap. Isn't that just a flat out rip off? The customer paid for more than 20 year performance and what did they get? A 20 year roof. GAFL certified contractors are professionals and should use the right hip and ridge product like Timbertex or Ridge Glass for a great looking job. Let the trunk slammers install cheap hip and ridge. Professionals do it right. GAF Elk also makes Shingle Match, a specialized paint that can make unsightly vents and accessories blend in with the color of the roof. These finishing touches can make a great looking roof. It's what the property owner deserves. Next, we'll look at some advanced roofing materials. 